guys so in this video we're going to show you how to upgrade your uh, custom firmware so in our previous video we downgraded the firmware to a lower firmware for uh, the Nighthawk R7000 in this video I'm going to show you how you go about getting the, so the custom firmware so first things first go ahead and unplug your secondary router Alright, second router, secondary router is now unplugged. Next, you're going to want to go over here. Work your way over to wiki.dd-wrt.com. You want to find your router. I'm using the R7000 Nighthawk uh, AC1900. We're going to go over here. We're going to say uh, how to install. We're going to go firmware facts. And we're going to say click here okay we're gonna say 2021 because we want the latest firmware and then let's scroll down so 49 and then we want to go find our our router which is the neck air r7000 download this hit save Okay, so then from here, we're going to go back to that router we downgraded the firmware to. So this is the router. So most likely, hit F5. Uh, oh, before we can do that, we got to plug the router back in because we never configured it. Give me one moment. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we want to go ahead and go to 192.168.1.1. Just go to hell. We're going to go over here to advanced. We're going to go to administrative, router updates. We're going to say browse. And then we're going to go back to downloads. And we're going to say. We're going to say this factory to DDWRT check. I say upload. Yep. Okay. And as long as it goes successfully, you shouldn't have a brick device. This will give you access to the custom firmware, and you can use this to do all kinds of things. Um, stay tuned and uh, I'll make another video um, we're just gonna hang out here and then I'll be back momentarily well, there it is guys it just rebooted um, now we're in uh, DDWRT on our R7000 Nighthawk very similar with most routers um, you'll have to go ahead it's pretty much the same process but you have to get the firmware specifically for your router Put a different firmware on a router that isn't designed for it, it could brick your device. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set this up. Username, password, okay, server site change password, and there it is. So now you're back in the main home screen. There it is, guys. That's how you upgrade your firmware to a custom firmware called DDWRT. There are many different firmwares out there. Um, there's Fresh Tomato, there's Open WRT, um, there, but yeah, there's different firmwares. I'm using this one. Ultimately, I may make another tutorial on how to set up a wireless repeater by the way I understand it. Um, other than that, if you found this content useful, go ahead and like and subscribe. And always, my friends, meme on, my friends, meme on.